hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl jodeci kane and i am back with another video this video as you can see is a beginner's guide for knotless braids on a wig unit yes i think you guys are gonna like this video um stay tuned to see how i got this look First things first, guys, I bleached the knots of this wig. This wig unit, I got it off of Amazon. It is a full lace wig, and I got it for about 50 bucks, so really cheap. I wish I had the link to give it to you guys, but I don't think they're selling it anymore. I've been hoarding this wig for probably about five months, meaning to do this style, and I never did it. But guys as you can see here i started out by parting the hair down the middle and then across diagonal so i already bleached the knots on this unit prior to this video and it was simple i just used the regular bleach um i'll leave it in the description box below now that i'm done parting my hair which took forever I noticed that I had a comb in the back of my wig so I just snipped it out as if I was taking out a weave snipped the little strings and pulled it right out today I'll be using Queen Bee's braiding hair pre-stretched in the color 2 which is like a natural color and it worked perfectly with my hair I've laid out my hair for the thickness of a braid that I want and you ladies should do the same. And now I'm about to start braiding. So I'm separating my hair. As I separate my hair, I'm gonna be using Shine and Jam Extra Hold and putting it on every piece of straggly little hair that I see. Keeping these little pieces of hairs out your way is gonna be key for your parts, ladies. After you're done getting all your pieces together, use some mousse, I'm using foam, to um, keep the hair that you'll be braiding in place as well. Now we're getting to the nitty gritty, the braid. To start your braid, get three pieces of, of hair and start to braid. Overhand braid is key, ladies. If you do underhand braiding, your hair will, will be separating at the root and it won't look good. So now you're going to take your first piece of hair and place that hair behind your braid. You should have three pieces of hair coming out of your wig and two sides of your weave hair or braiding hair coming on opposite sides of that wig, those three pieces, if that makes sense. Piece in the middle should be just wig hair and the two pieces on the outside should have wig hair and braiding hair then you just start to braid in braid it down and add another piece of hair add that next piece of hair behind the whole braid and then start to braid it in as well again you should have both sides of your braiding hair on opposite sides of that hair that's in the middle. I hope that makes sense, but I will do it multiple times throughout this video so you guys are bound to get it eventually. So I'm overhand braiding this hair, then I'm grabbing my third piece and I'm placing it behind the whole braid and both sides of that braiding hair should be on opposite sides of the braid, the, the piece of hair that's in the middle. So I'm placing foam on my hair so it can be smooth and we don't have a lot of stragglies. Like I said in the beginning ladies, those straggly hairs will be the death of you. I figured out a more efficient way to do this later on in the video. So keep watching to see how to get that those stragglies properly taken care of. Now I'm just finishing the braid. And as you're braiding, ladies, go back through and fix your braid and move it around so it can be placed right. That's what I had to do to a lot of the braids. I'm 
I'm just repeating all of the steps that I did in the first braid. I'm just putting the shining jam on my parts and moving all the stragglies away. Then I will start to braid three braids down and place my first piece of hair behind my whole braid and then braid it in with the rest of the hair. I'll be quiet so you guys can see the process. ladies take your time with your braids please if you want your wig to come out nice please take your time with your braids i had to start over a lot of times as you can see right here the thickness of each piece that i had wasn't the same so i had to go back and fix it taking your time will make a major difference in the way that your wig comes out As far as my mousse technique, first I was putting the mousse on the hair and then each time I would braid, I would mousse the braid while I'm braiding. But I came up with a technique of the mousse on the braiding hair before I even apply the braiding hair to the wig. You can see the difference in the braiding hair that's on the left and the braiding hair that's on the right. Hair on the left is more messy while the hair on the right is more silky and easier to manage for a beginner like me. Again, I am taking my three pieces of hair that I've braided from the wig and I'm braiding it down about two to three times. Then I'm placing my braiding hair behind the braid and braiding it in with the rest of the hair. a prime example of my three pieces of hair not being the same thickness if your three pieces of hairs are not the same thickness your braid will come out lopsided and funny looking so to fix this i go back and unravel what i've done then i braid my three pieces of hair to a position where the two smallest pieces of hair are on the outside so the thickest piece is in the middle and the two smallest are on the outside once i add my braiding hair piece back in it will increase the two pieces of hairs that's on the outside while the middle will stay the same
do not forget to get your baby hairs out i accidentally braided up some of my baby hairs on the opposite side not this side and it was a disaster so don't forget to take your baby hairs out i just used the shining jam and twisted them so they won't be in my way while i was braiding i'll show you guys how to make your pieces of braids the same thickness with just using the hair that you already have braided you'll take the furthest piece of hair to the back and you'll separate it and put it in with the thin piece of hair simple as that then you just keep braiding down okay guys i think that is all my tips and tricks for you guys this is the finished product of my braids i'm about to dip them and then apply the wig don't mind my face i'm doing a turmeric mask but i wanted to make sure that i applied the wig so you guys could see how it looked i love how this wig came out this was so easy it took about five hours to do not including the dipping process and like waiting for the water to boil uh, the packs were about seven dollars i think each and i used a pack and a half it was so easy and i am loving this look i hope you guys like it if you guys have any more questions put them in the comment section below if i forgot anything i will gladly answer it in the comment section and i know you guys are wondering what is jodeci's baby's name i promise you guys that i was going to tell you guys what my baby's name was going to be in my next video and this is my next video so guys drum roll please my baby boy's name is haiti like the country i will give you guys updates on where that name came from in my next video give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you are not a subscriber and hit the bell notifications peace